Right, everyone, it is Finn here, and welcome to my incredibly early Euro group stage prediction. As we know, they've just completed the draw for the competition, and there are some insane groups that are going to be incredibly difficult to predict. But of course, I thought I might as well give it my best shot. Look like an idiot, six to seven months in advance. But we'll see how it goes. Obviously, I see Isaac's already started to talk about the Euros, so I felt a bit of FOMO, so I thought I might as well as well. Please also make sure to go check Isaac out for that idea. And ultimately, yes, before we jump into things, I'm aware I have a spot on my lip. My eyes! Much like Manchester United in the Premier League, I'm going to ask you guys not to look at it, as it does hurt. But jumping into our first group that's been drawn for the upcoming Euros, what a group! We've got the hosts Germany, Hungary, Scotland and Switzerland. One of many groups of deaths, in my opinion. I mean, it almost looks like a cemetery, the upcoming Euros, with how many groups of deaths they have. No. And looking at Germany, although yes, they are the hosts of the whole competition. Yes, on paper, maybe they are the biggest team in this group, but I wouldn't call them the favourites to win it overall. Looking at Germany, I don't know whether it's because they haven't been playing competitive games lately due to automatically qualifying, but they've been in rubbish for. How do the British people say... Uh... You, you have to show it in a winning night in Stoke. And I think they could be in trouble of not winning this group. I think looking at Hungary once again, we've seen multiple times before that they've come out of extremely difficult groups or they've at least done well versus very top teams. Look at Scotland. They were fantastic in their Euro qualifiers. I mean, looking at R9, I mean the Scottish R9. Sorry, I mean Scott McTominay. He's been on fire form for a defensive midfield. He's the best football player in the world. So ultimately, the Scotland national team has been fantastic and I would not be surprised if they won this group overall. And in fact, I'm going to start off with a tiny bit of a spicy prediction here. And I'm going to predict that Scotland do end up winning this group. And in second place, I'm going to put Germany. I do think being a host nation will help a tiny bit. But I am just worried for them for some reason with their current form. Looking at third place, I'm going to put Hungary. As I said, they've done well over recent years. And in fourth place, I've gone Switzerland. Now, yes, slightly controversial. I know they've got a fantastic squad at the moment. They started off the Euro qualifying very well but they really dipped off a bit and their defense almost turned to well excuse the pun but swiss cheese they had way too many holes in the back stop it get some help and ultimately out of these four teams they're the team i'm the most worried about but now moving on to our next group once again as i said the groups just get better and better we've got spain albania croatia and italy i mean how competitive do you want to be? i can't change that i'm gorgeous You've got three teams that reached the most recent Nations League semi-final in here, along with Albania, who won a group that had the likes of Czech Republic and Poland in it. I think all four teams here could have fantastic displays. And although I wouldn't want to leave anyone out here, I think ultimately Albania has to come last in this group. And I think between Spain, Croatia and Italy, once again, there's no easy prediction here and there's no right answer at this stage. But I do think looking at the talent in their team at the moment, especially the young talent and how exciting they are in terms of how many goals they've been scoring lately, I'm going to put Spain at the top of this group. So you're telling me there's a chance. Once again, as I said, the likes of Yamal, I would have loved for him to join the likes of Morocco as someone who's from Africa. I always like to see top talents joining African nations. But looking at Yamal once again, absolutely fantastic. You don't have to talk about the likes of Pedri and Gabi, although Gabi probably will be injured past the Euros. I don't know whether he will be fit, obviously picking up an ACL injury. But ultimately, Spain, what a team they have at the moment. In terms of second between Croatia and Italy, this isn't an easy one and maybe slightly controversial with their current Euro qualifier form, but I'm going to go for Croatia here. No, they obviously didn't win a group that many people thought that they would, that they would be clear favourites to win, but ultimately I still think they've got a fantastic team at the moment. We're looking at Italy once again. Yes, they won the most recent tournament, but I didn't, I haven't been that impressed over the last year or two. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. I think they almost look like a shell of their former selves. I don't think they look threatening, especially when they play versus big teams. Once again, there's just something missing there. But hey, maybe once again, I could be wrong. Now, jumping into Group C, we've got England, Denmark, Slovenia and Serbia. That tastes like promotion! Yeah! Now, I don't know if it's just me, I feel like England and Denmark play against each other in every single tournament. But in terms of a favourite, clearly England is going to be the favourite here. I don't have to beat around the bush on this one. Looking at their talent, they've got absolutely fantastic players. Once again, Harry Kane is at the form of his life in the Bundesliga. I mean, hey, who could have guessed it? Harry Kane can score goals. <laughs> 
looking at Jude Bellingham, he might be the best player in the world at the moment. And once again, you just look at the form throughout this England team, they have a fantastic squad. It's actually more that second place squad that has struggled a bit, because looking at Serbia, once again, they are always underdogs. But for some reason this time around, I don't think they will be performing like underdogs. I feel like they'll be very average. Look at Slovenia, once again, some very fantastic players in there. And once again, they didn't do too bad in their group, obviously. But I do think I have to give it to Denmark. Maybe slightly predictable. But ultimately, they've got the quality. They've had performances in the past. And I think they've proven their worth. <laughs> Now, jumping into Group D, France, Austria, Netherlands, and the winner of, obviously, the qualifier Group A part. Obviously, that will be the likes of either Poland, Wales, Finland, or Estonia. Whoa. And I think in terms of a winner of who's going to qualify with the rest of the teams in Group D, it's not easy, but I do think I might have to go for Poland here. I think they've got better individuals, although they did struggle versus Moldova in the qualifiers. It's either going to be them or Wales, and it's not an easy prediction to put here. I do think the the likes of France will be the obvious winners of this group. I mean, you can't deny how much talent they have in the last five years. They've reached two World Cup finals, winning one along with the Nations League. Hey, that's pretty good. You really cannot fault France. They are a fantastic nation. And I mean, to not say that they would win this group would be absolutely criminal. In terms of second place, obviously Austria did very well in their group. I think they've done really well under Rolf Ragnick, which as a Manchester United fan, I still struggle to believe. But ultimately, Ultimately, I do think Netherlands will be second, probably the biggest ever nation not to win a trophy. Looking at Netherlands once again, the quality throughout this team, absolutely fantastic, but we've seen in recent history that versus France, they really aren't great one-on-one -on -one versus France, and they really struggle to get results past them. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. Ultimately, at the end of the day, France and Netherlands should make it through. Now, jumping into our second final group, which, by the way, I haven't quite asked you guys, put in the comment section down below which nation you support. Obviously, I know I'm wearing a Portuguese jersey, but that's just kind of because I wanted to wear a jersey for this video. Crystal Ronaldo, Suey! As a South African, I'm very much neutral heading into this, so it's very nice to hear where everyone else is in the comment section down below. But obviously, look at Group E, Belgium should be the clear favourites here. Let me talk! As they have the likes of Romania, Slovakia, and whoever wins, obviously, Group B, uh, who have to qualify here. I think in terms of the other teams that will qualify, between Israel, Bosnia, Ukraine, and Iceland, I think Ukraine will end up doing it. I think they've been really, really good over the last few years. I still think people tend to underestimate them as a nation. But we've seen versus top opposition, they can switch on. And in fact, I'm not just going to say that. I think Ukraine will come second in this group and qualify for the next day. I think they're going to go for not qualifying automatically all the way to going through to the next stage. Once again, you have to have a bit of a shocker there, and I do think that will be it. Once again, not to underestimate the likes of Slovakia. They were very, very solid in their group. Definitely not to underestimate the likes of Romania. They topped a group that had Switzerland in them. But ultimately, I do think Belgium and Ukraine will make it through over the other nations. Now, heading into our final group of the Euro group stage. Uh, once again, very early predictions. I'll probably update them at a later stage. Okay. We've got Portugal, Turkey, Czech Republic, and the winner of Georgia, Greece, Kazakhstan, or Luxembourg. Now, just to get out the fourth team that will qualify, I think it will be between Georgia and Greece. And as much as I like Kavacelia, although I struggle to pronounce it and spell it every single time, it's like hitting your head on a keyboard, I do think Greece will make it through. I think people underestimate how good they were in Euro qualifiers, and they really did surprise me. But ultimately, in terms of the teams that I think will win this group, I think Portugal are the clear favourites here. Oh, silly! And I'll put this down. I think you're, um, they were the best team in the Euro qualifiers. In terms of attacking form, absolutely on fire, considering they've got like an 80-year-old Ronaldo up front. Obviously, looking at their defence, they're also extremely solid, letting in, what, only two goals or qualifiers. Absolutely mental. And in terms of the second team, I think we'll make it through... I mean, I know Czech Republic have some decent players. They were good in the last Euros. We especially saw that versus Scotland. But I'm going to go for Turkey here. And I'm going to put this out as a bold shout. I wouldn't be surprised if Turkey had a secret little win in this group either. Oh, oh. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. 
Qatar. I think they could almost top it. Looking at them, they obviously topped their Euro qualifier group. They were absolutely fantastic. And I think they're still missing a few major players from Inri, whether it be the likes of Unal up front as a striker or Ada Gule from Real Madrid. I think we haven't seen the best of Turkey yet. And I think they could be a fire nation in the upcoming Euros. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for my very early Euro group stage predictions. Once again, a lot more predictions will come closer to the tournament. Obviously, I'll do a full, full tournament prediction as well. Um, yeah, as I said, let me know in the comments section down below which nation you support what your predictions are and once again i always get it let me know what i got wrong it is inevitable but guys this has been fin fy Dublin, and until next time it's gonna be exciting to see what happens cheers